Hello and welcome back to The Magic Attic. I love history, the history of kings and queens, and one history in particular strikes me as a little mysterious. How did this happen twice, not once? The same man, Michael Fagan, broke into Buckingham Palace and confronted the queen on the first occasion with a crossbow, sat and talked to her, and then 20 years later, he got back in. As you may expect, Buckingham Palace is surrounded with tall fences. Hard to get over, but not impossible. It also has guard houses. With guards. And I think one night, one of the guards decided he needed to take a break. It's got to be a little boring, waiting for things to happen. And he needed to go maybe get a smoke. He knew that eventually people would come looking for him but he was pretty well hidden. And in fact, not long after he started smoking, his captain did come looking for him. So what did he do? He, he got up and he went running away. So there he goes. And when his captain comes looking, he's not there. Captain looks a little further. Again, he's not there. And finally, his captain find, finds him. Maybe not, because really, my story is just made up. This apparatus is called On Parade. I know that because I have the instructions, but there's little else I've been able to find out about it. The instructions credit builder Jimmy Flowers, who built for Supreme with inventing it. And it also credits a man named Arthur Hodgson for improving it but I've been unable to find anything out about Arthur Hodgson. The cabinetry is really phenomenal. There are other props that look like this that were put out by Supreme, but I believe this predates Supreme. And in fact, I've only found one other incomplete example. If you have any information about who sold this prop or uh, more about the builders, I'd love to hear it. Hoping to see you again here in the Magic Attic.